Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. In today's video, this is going to be slightly different, and this is something I'm working on for a new series, uh, which I won't release right now. But anyway, what I wanted to do today was, I have so many people telling me, I can't use a Mac. Um, a Mac is too hard. Um, you know, a Mac is not like using a PC. Um, and, and I have to say, okay, I agree with that. Um, they both have their places in the world. I'm not going to tell you that I'm a Mac lover. I'm not going to tell you that I'm a Windows lover. I can tell you that I can function in both of the operating systems very fluently and very easily. So what I wanted to do today was show you the differences, if there is any, uh, between Microsoft Word 2016 on the Mac, here on the left of your screen, and Microsoft Word 2016 on Windows running on the right side of your screen. Now I just launched both of these applications and you're going to see some subtle differences with the main screens, but basically they both do this exact same thing. Here is the Mac version and we see where it says uh, these are all your templates, right? New document with which we're very familiar with and I'll show you how to launch a new document on the Mac. And on the right, we have new document or blank document. Oops. Uh, we really didn't want to do that. Um, let's go see if we can go back here. Nope. Let's go new. No. I actually just want to close that. There we go. Okay. Uh, new. Okay. So anyway, so on the right, we have, it says blank document and our templates, and this is on Windows. So why is it that so many people tell me I can't use a Mac because it's too different? It's really, really not. If we go on to the Windows side and click on open, these are our, our recent documents right here on the left or on the right. If we go on to our Mac and click on recent, these are our recent documents that we've been working on on the left, on the Mac. So let's go back to new. Yeah, let's go back to new on the Mac. So what we're going to do first of all is on the Mac, we're going to create a brand new blank document. And I do this simply by selecting blank document and go down the bottom and click on create. Once I click on create, now I'm going to have to resize these windows a little bit because we are working in a side-by-side -side comparison. So, on the left here, we now have, this is on a Mac, and this is your Office 2016. Does it look familiar to your Windows folks out there? I would think it should, because it's pretty much exactly the same. And we're going to look at this comparison to see how different they truly are. On the Windows side, to click on a new document, just simply click on New Document. And I'm going to resize this window. Uh, let me move this over just a little bit here. Uh, let's see. And we'll move this over just a little bit. Right. A little bit more. Move it over. Sorry about this. This is the joy of doing comparison videos. All right. So now there is the difference of the layouts, all right? If we look again, like I said, on the Mac side, we have the ribbon bar at the top. At one time, I can tell you when we were having, when we had Office, I believe it was 2013 on Windows. On the Mac, they were still running Office 2011. There was a ton of differences and the learning curve was really, really bad because if you worked in 2013 and you try to go backwards, it was really difficult. But finally, finally, Microsoft has created a version of Office for the Mac, the current Office 2016, just as they have on Windows. If you look at the top menu bar, you're going to see that it's exactly the same menu bar or ribbon bar that's on top of uh, Windows, right? So if we click on Insert, here is our Insert menu. If we click on Insert on Windows... Oops. This is the insert menu. I don't want design menu there. I want the insert. And you can see pictures, shapes, everything that you're doing on a Windows PC, you can do 
on your Mac. So is the Mac harder to use than Windows? No, because you're working in the exact same application. Let's go under design on the Mac side. And we'll go under design on the PC side. It's exactly the same. There's themes, there's different titles we can use, bolding, colors, colors, fonts, effects. Everything is in here. Watermarking, uh, page color, page borders. Let's go and lay out on the PC side. And we'll go out and lay out on the Mac side. We well, can see it's the same. Margins, orientation, size, columns, line numbers. So, folks, if you think you can't use a Mac, let's drop that all together. All right, you can. So, if you want to buy a Mac and you've been a little hesitant saying, I'll never be able to learn how to use it. It's so hard. Go ahead and purchase it today. You're going to be absolutely uh, happy that you did. And, again, I'm not saying I'm a Mac lover and I'm not saying I'm a Windows lover. I tell you that I use both of them and I have no problem with interchanging. I don't have to rethink the way I do things. I do the same things on the PC, the same kind of ways I do it on the Mac, or the same way I do it on the Mac. Uh, save files, search files, everything. They're getting really to the point where it's really transparent of what operating system you're on. Click on references on the Mac side, and we'll click on references on the PC side. And we can see here where we can insert footnotes, add text, update tables, um, table of contents, insert a note, uh, insert an end note, you know, insert uh, a footnote we talked about. So everything in here is, you know, really the way it, it's set up to run. Insert citation. Uh, a lot of schools require this, and you can do it on both. Mailings. We can do mailings on both. I will warn you, if you're trying to mail, if you're trying to send email out of Microsoft products and you're using a web-based email service such as Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or AOL, whatever the mail may be, uh, or your internet providers, this feature will set the mail programs up but if you go to File, Send as Email Attachment, it's not going to attach it to anything because it's not set up to do that because it's web-based mail. So be aware of that. Review. Review. Here. New comment. New comment. Language. Language. Hmm. Word count. Word count. Yeah. Treasures. Uh, Theses. Uh, spell check and grammar. Yeah, it's all there. Accept it, reject it, accept it, reject it. Everything's there. Looks really, really nice. View. Here's the view. And here's our view on the Mac side. Uh, again, we have macros, believe it or not. Yes, macros will work on the Mac. The same as what they will work on the Windows side. Uh, we have your reading mode, your print layout, uh, your web layout. Outline, draft, focus. Hmm. Unbelievable how much, very much same these are. But what is it when we type? Let's go back to uh, home. And we'll go back to home on the PC. And we'll type. This is my document. And we will now go over to the PC side. This is my document. All right, so they both type exactly the same as you would think they would. Now, when you do a file on your PC side and save as, you're going to get this nice little menu here, all right, where you can add a place, you can browse this PC. Um, matter of fact, we'll just go down here to browse. And we'll see what we come up with. And we come up with a file explorer window of where you can put your actual uh, your, your document. So if we click on documents, we can just stick it in documents. Let's see what happens when we're on the off, uh, office, for, uh, office for the Mac. So I click on File, Save As. Now, I don't get that little menu anymore, but I go right into my, my file window, right? Right into what they call Finder, which is the same as the file window here. Oops. Which is the exact same as the file window here. So you would go on your Mac, you'd go to Documents. Uh, you would give it a name, obviously. This is my document. And we would hit save. 
boom. See at the top it says my document. We're in my documents over here. Let's hit save. Boom. And we can see at the top it says this is my document. So it's very much the same, folks. There's no reason why you shouldn't rush out. Uh, if you've been wanting a Mac and, you, and you're hesitant, and I know a lot of you are. I know I was. Um, probably, I think I bought my first Mac probably 10 years ago now. And I was very hesitant. Because when I was growing up, Macintosh was not compatible with Windows. My mother, when I first got into computers, said, well, do you want one of those great new Macs, uh, computers, one to Apple, whatever it was at that time. I, I don't remember the name. Maybe it was an Apple IIe or Apple IIa. I don't remember. But I told her, I said, no, Mom, because they're not really compatible with anything. And I don't want something that i got to learn to use. And then I can't use another computer because I only know how to use an Apple. But today it's so transparent. Uh, it's absolutely flawless how things work. And, you know, through these series of videos comparing, you know, I want to do more comparing Windows and Mac because so many people are so afraid of a Mac and it's one of the easiest computers in the world to use. So don't be afraid of it by any means. Uh, not that Windows 10 is not getting really good at what they do. But, um, like I said, they both have their place. They both will work for your business. They both will work for your home financing and everything you're going to do on a computer. They will both work very, very well. I just had this discussion with my wife this morning about how why so many people say, oh, the Mac is so expensive, though. It costs so much. But, you know, if you look at comparable, like if you look at laptops, I've been looking at new laptops. And if you buy a brand new MacBook Air, I think it's a 256 uh, solid state drive, gig solid state drive, and 8 gigs of RAM. It will cost you like around eleven hundred dollars. Now, if I looked at the comparable, and I was looking at this, the um, the Surface laptop, the Microsoft Surface laptop, I've been looking at, and the comparable one to that is right around twelve ninety nine to thirteen. So, what you're looking at is really, really good hardware. Don't compare these devices to something you see at Walmart or you know uh, Kmart or. Uh, best buy you know when you look around at cheap laptops because there's a reason they're cheap right just like there's a reason why a bmw is more sought after you know than a volkswagen because the bmw or the uh, jaguars or whatever have you know different components in it that's why it makes them more expensive it's not just the name apple's not just selling the branding um, you know a lot of people think i got that apple logo i, I must be a rich person that's not true at all, you know. Um, and basically, me, I to be honest with you, I financed my computers, so it's nothing that I just went out and paid cash for. That's for sure. Uh, they do have great things like eighteen months, same as cash. You can buy it, and just you know, pay on it over eighteen months and get that thing paid off. So, so anyway, that's my spear. That's my smear. That's my smear for for the Mac um, and for Windows. Because like I said, if you're going to buy a decent laptop on Windows, you're going to spend the same amount of money. Uh, can you buy a cheaper one that's going to do what you want it to do? Probably. And that is totally up to you. I can tell you one big lackluster of cheap laptops is horrible keyboards. Uh, they're either too springy, they bounce around, or whatever. So anyway, I'm getting off topic. Thank you for watching this episode of Jack's Tech Corner. And I hope that you've enjoyed the little comparison between Office 2016 on a Mac and Office 2016 on Windows. And I am running that on Windows 10. Thanks for watching. Please join me next time, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to stop over to jackstechcorner.com, you can donate to these shows. You can also, uh, if you would wish, use my Amazon link. And please use that Amazon link for everything you buy on Amazon. I don't care if it's a tube of toothpaste. You want to use that Amazon link. So thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.